In this demonstration, we're going to look at public folders. Public folders in Exchange Server 2016 is stored as a public folder mailbox as part of a standard Exchange mailbox. In previous versions, and by that I mean 2010 or earlier, what we had is we had a public folder database. That's now gone, but the advantage is now that because we're storing these public folder mailboxes in a standard mailbox database, that means we can protect them with things like DAGs. So the first thing to do before we can create public folders is to create some public folder mailboxes. So I've come into Exchange Admin Center, come to public folders, come to public folder mailboxes, and now we'll select the plus button. That'll bring us into a little table. So the first one I'm going to create here is I'm going to create one called PFMBX1. I'm going to store that in organizational unit IT. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to store that within mailbox database one. Then we'll select save. And that's now created PFMBX1. I'll create another one as well. We we'll call this one PFMBX2. Specify the IT organizational unit. And again, go for mailbox database one. And select OK. And select save. Then what we can do is we can then create public folders within our public folder mailboxes. So as you can see, we currently don't have any. So all I'm going to do at this point here is click on my plus button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one for departments. I'm going to store that below root and select save. Then what we're going to do within departments is we're just going to create another public folder. And we're going to create that for the IT department. Now, anything we can do in the Exchange Admin Center, we can also do in Exchange Management Shell. In the Exchange Management Shell, and what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to get some information relating to our public folders. I'm going to do that with a get hyphen public folder hyphen recurse and pipe that and format the list. As you can see, that returns back information. So we can see a parent path for IT is departments. We can see the mailbox database where it's stored, MBX1. And if we scroll up, we should be able to see departments as well, which is stored within root. And again, we can see where it's stored in the case of the public folder mailbox database. Right. What we can also do as well through the Exchange Management Shell is we also get the ability to actually create public folders. So what I'm gonna do at this point here is I'm gonna create a new hyphen public folder, hyphen name, we search hyphen path is below departments and we're going to store that on pfmbx2 so as you can see now created so let's just go back to our exchange admin center let's do a refresh and we're going to now see research once we've created the public folders we'll also want to assign some permissions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually assign the permissions of departments those permissions will then flow down to it and research so come back up a level Then what we'll do is we'll just highlight departments. Then what we'll do is we'll come to folder permissions and click manage. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to add our administrator user. And what we're going to do at this point here is we can then specify exactly what permission level we give. So a reviewer, for example, with review, we can read items, folders visible. If we click on the little drop down, we've got contributor. So what we can do is we can create items, folders visible. We've got non-editing author, so we can create items, read items, folders visible, we can delete our own. We've got author, so create items, read items, edit own, delete own, folder visible. Editor, create items, read items, edit own, edit all, folder visible, delete own, delete all. Publishing author, so what we've got is near enough everything except for edit all, folder owner, and folder contact. Publishing editor, can't be folder owner or a folder contact. Owner, everything, and then finally custom, you decide which tick boxes you turn on. So for purpose of this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to stick with owner, and then we're going to select save. Now what we'll do is we'll apply the changes to this public folder and all its subfolders so the permissions do propagate down through the tree and select save. So as we can see now, we've completed the operation, so we'll select close. So what we've done here is we've created a public folder mailbox, create some public folders and assign some permissions. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.